On today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can verify your business after completing the simple registration process. So I'm going to take you through that process, the simplest way to do it. I'll talk you through it. And at the end of the video, you'll then have a choice as to then which part you want to move on to next. So welcome to my video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I use my 22 years of experience to help you grow your business. So if you have a business and you're using various ways of optimizing it, including Google My Business, this video is gonna be useful for you because it will help you to see how you can register it correctly. You can even check to make sure, you can even go back and you can change things you may have done in the past and make sure that it's corrected so that you're gonna get the best out of your Google My Business listing. Now, this is part of a series of episodes. This is episode two. You may have already seen episode one, which is great if you have. If you haven't done so, that just takes you back to the whole process of how this series is going to work. So don't miss it. I'll put a link down below for you to then make sure you can follow it. And as we go through this series together, because it's a live series, then I'm also going to take your comments and I'll try and address them in the future videos in this series. Now, ultimately, what we've got here is we've got a live business that we're going to use. We're going to increase its ability to be seen in Google. And you're going to see it from scratch all the way. We're going to look at the analytics, we're going to check insights, we're going to optimize it. And so as we do this on a live business, you'll be able to follow along and you can do the same on your business too. So this is a real value. Make sure you click the alert button so you don't miss the next video as it's released. So let's now jump straight in and see how you can complete your listing the easiest way and also get to the point of verification. So the very first thing to do before you really start optimizing and adding uh, business is you need to just see whether or not it needs to be claimed first of all. So I'm gonna type into Google the name of the business that we're looking at and it's LaRue Window Cleaning and you notice that it's already been registered. Now you may ask yourself, why has that already happened? There's a few options here. It could be that you've registered beforehand and then forgotten about it. It could be that you've had someone else register it for you. Now, you might say, well, how can anyone do that? But you notice that it still enables you to uh, claim it. So if you own this business, then you can still claim it. Um, so even though some of the information is correct, most of this could have just been entered from either their website or it could be from their Facebook page. Uh, you notice that they're using Yell as well, so it could be from there. So what happens is there are people that work for Google or there are local guides and they can just go to the map and they can then add a business that they're aware of and then that can be added too. And then once the owner realises that it's been registered, they can make a claim for it. So looking at this by the looks of things, it's either been slightly registered or it needs to be fully registered, but it's got a bit of information. So it's got a telephone number. It's got a Yale.com page related to it. So let's just go to there and see. So that's probably where this address has come from. And again, this all kind of ties up. There's some ratings and reviews, which is always good to have as well. So what we're going to do is for our client, we're going to make sure that this is consistent with his registration here, but we're also going to get this all up and running. So for today's lesson, it's probably going to be just about making sure we've got full ownership of this on behalf of our client. And so to do this, it would be a case of going into here, own this business. Well, I don't personally own it, but I'm being asked to manage it for the owner. So I'm gonna click that. So it's given me the opportunity to manage this now. So I'm gonna click that. So I know that LaRue Window Cleaning is the business name. So I'm gonna go next. And then the category that fits the business. Now, what I would do at this stage is I would go to Google Maps and I would put in there window cleaner. And the purpose of this is just to see what category is being used by those that are coming up number one. And I notice here window cleaning service, window cleaning service, window cleaning service. If I go to the next page, 
window cleaning service. So that tells me that window cleaners use that category as the main category. Now that's not to say that there might not be other categories that you may want to consider, but initially I'd go for the one that's really the most closest to what you're looking for, and that would be window cleaning service. So let's go back to the registration. If I start typing in window, and I see here window cleaning service and just checking there's nothing else that's obvious. It's not tinting, it's not a supplier. So that would be the category that initially I'll go for. Now of course you can always change this in the future. Now I'm going to click next. And this is their address which is correct. So I'm going to go next. And that's fine too, that's where it's based. So do you also serve customers outside this location? For example, if you visit or deliver to your customers, can you let them know where you're willing to go? So it is a service, it is outside of that location. So yes, he serves outside the location. Add the areas that you serve. You can list your service areas below. They will show up on your listing and help you bring in relevant customers. Well, again, this can be changed in the future, but for now, I'll cover the Bournemouth Pool and Christchurch area. I'm just checking his Facebook page and that is the correct number. And he can get a free website here. So we're going to look at that on another lesson. Get a free website based on your info. So we will click that. So there you go. So we've now got, I'll be able to manage the Rue window cleaning service on behalf of this person. I click finish. And now it's a case of verification. So I'm going to get the owner, which is uh, uh, LaRue to get a text. So he'll get a text. I'm going to let him know now and then we'll see if he can come back to me with that text number. Now there is an option that you can go for the postcard method which can take up to four days to arrive but at the moment we'll go for the text and see if that works. So I've now got the verification code. I'm now going to click it. And that's it. I'm now verified to authorise and manage this on behalf of my client. Get started adding photos, replying to reviews, creating posts and more. And that's where we're going to go for the next lesson is what happens when you click here. What do you then do? So we're going to go through to that and that will be on the next tutorial. So if you've now received your verification, you're verified, then you'll be up together with where we're at on this tutorial. But as mentioned previously earlier in this episode, that we're actually part of a series. So if you haven't seen episode one, it gives you a complete overview of why this is a free course that's got great value. So make sure you see that video, which will be here for you now to watch. But anyway, if you're gonna move on to series episode three, then you need to watch this video, which is gonna show you now what Google My Business wants you to do to start optimizing and being ready to take in new clients. So I'll see you there.